Hello, good day. Welcome back to the video series in merging the two of your subjects this semester, namely the ITS 27 Object Oriented Programming 2 and ITS 25 Database Management System 2. We will develop a meaningful programs in Java language that uses all the object oriented principles and we will apply that that we learn in the database management system to actual administration and management uh, in all tables or entities and records within the database this is the sixth video on the series that will teach you how to combine the CRUD queries CRUD means create it stands for create or insert query retrieve or select query update query and delete query in the database and embedding it to a java program uh, previously we already created those and in this video we are going to combine all of those things so to start with open admins and then after you go to the um, your drive um, your drive that has a backup for all your projects next thing that you need to do is to upload the updated one which is the last one we'll finish the delete functionality or delete program so we need to download it now to Im to open it with our admins so we will wait for that so while waiting we need to also go to the PHP my admin as long as you are now running the Apache and MySQL you need to now access to the localhost PHP my admin uh, on the browser so once we are now open it eh, we need to uh, now already download the folder that we uh, download in the drive next thing that we need to do is extract this all and click extract so it will now open the drive so next thing that we need to do is to upload the database which is the student so you know that what's inside of this is the student class so these are the corresponding sql syntax uh, for our database here so all we need to do is first grab the name of the database which is the project how aleho chan aleho merge project and create here for our database and then create now next thing that we need to do is to go to import and choose a file to import we know that that is inside of our the downloads folder so you can go to downloads and the newly downloaded one this one okay and this is ql and go, scroll a bit and go to import okay it's now done with our student table already here in our page we may admin so you go back to the net bins and we will create or open our project and go to the downloads folder and look for the updated one which is the 9 pm this one click on this icon to show all the inside the, on that icon and open project so we have sources and we have default packages we have now four classes so we will proceed in merging all of those here so what we need to do is create another one a class and we can have cl5 underscore john uh, alejo okay so then we need to remove and we need to load all the necessary uh, to import in our in our program we need to import java.sql.connection we have also import the java.sql.driver manager and we have also import java sql.prepared statement we have also to create import 
Java SQL uh, result set and also the uh, we have import Java swing that J option rate and we will create our main class uh, main function by the way public static void main sense string argument so everything is now done so next thing is we will create a function to the insert so we will create a function function void insert okay so to do that we need to go to the first one because this is the insert one and we need that first is the connection so we know that to know we know already how to create it here so we already done with it in our cl3 and cl4 to use here as a class attribute uh, to use any every time so the insert we will use this one uh, to connect to the database and use SQL uh, statement here. So all we need to do is just copy uh, everything. This is we want to do CL1. So we have. So we have. Please insert name, blah blah blah, with the option pane, and this is how we get the delete. Uh, okay, so we need some of the okay here to import also for this one because it will automatically captures the data. So everything just copy. go to CL5 and our exemption I will just make it to error and use the uh, J option pane that show message dialog null and use error to get message and DB error and the type of the option, the option pane, the option pane that error message. So everything is set. So instead of using this, so we will use DB URL and remove this and use. Okay, this DB class, this DB URL, this DB username, and this. Everything is set so insert into your name okay then everything is working good so now all we need to do is create in the main function use um, J option P message dialog now select welcome to grad simple grad program
series k1 is uh, insert data so add new student okay we'll add this one Instead of using geo input dialogs, we use input show show input dialog. this we can create an object in our class John here so in this we can use this and we have here for program 5 is equal to new and that one so here all we need to do is to use this object program 5 that insert so let us work it do if it is working run our program so welcome to a simple card program add new student okay we don't have four <laughs> why okay we have four so run it again if we add one so you can welcome to the simple program please enter search your name and have like uh, we can have Andres Bonifash 
Mas Bonifacio. Oke. Okay. Intramuros. So it ends, nothing happens here. But we can just check it on the database that we have a new record 6 for that one. So it's good to go. We are okay with this uh, one. So once we done this, we can just say um, we can just add here uh, added new record. Uh, so let it show message dialog null okay we have name is already to know and share show the G option pain that info message so it's good to go then close then we can just say that's it so I think it's good I think we need to view okay that's how for case one and that is for the insert that's good so next thing that we need to do is to create another function for select public void uh, select or view record records so we have here how what we need to do to view all the records so next thing we need to do is use the try black directly and until catch and go back to the CL5 and paste it here okay instead of using this um, we use the option pane We have a similar it's also J option paint. Okay, so here we can just output everything. So for the DBCon we need this one. We're using this um, class and for the driver we have this um, db url and we have this db new name and this one this db p word okay and then how can it be i think that the, the name of the database that we need to use i think it's still the same we need to use my db con uh, connection is my db con is equal to null okay so if this working plan so everything is working good so here we can also 
values here and use program 5 select show view all your records so what is the problem okay i am out on the scope we need to put it okay inside of the case so run our file we have a problem i don't know where it is hopefully we can find it let's try to run okay we have the error i guess exemption error yeah that's good and ready to go so to view all the records and we see all we can now see it, all the records here and click ok so it's done so everything is working so next thing is we just use here for the update i think everything is good because we have some of functions here that is working great so all we need to do is on the third one in here we can just grab a copy of the new instance of the cl3 so we have cl3 um, underscore john alejo is equal to program 3 new cl3 john alejo then the first thing that it would is so the first thing that we need to do is to view all the records okay so we can use uh, program tree object that show all the records then I think it will just work if that is uh, the thing so let us try to use uh, three update we can modify uh, six and just only the name to Jose Rizal okay we can just also six for address like the python okay so it's working now so in this one you need your program doesn't end so this is good then next thing here we create a new project on this part uh, for the program for we can have cl4 underscore john alejo and we have program for is equal to new cl4 underscore john alejo so it's very good because we can rewrite use program codes as we want to so here we can use program for that show all records and this time we can delete so here we can say 4 and select to delete like we will just delete um, number 2 so if you want to delete click yes just click yes so permanently deleted and then you can see that there's a deleted so you can also delete six click ok and if then click no 
okay so good so everything is working fine until we need to use okay here uh, G option pane let's show message dialog now uh, okay uh, wrong input no corresponding option to the given input you can just say invalid choice and we have say j option paint that error message so that means if you run and just put six here it no corresponding option to give input okay so i guess we are now done when when um adding some so uh putting all together all our uh program so follow along with me uh, for the next tutorial but this time it's quite very um uh, short because we are just using objects here um creating objects and use um our previous work so thank you and before we end we need to back up here hit again so we can okay so i don't have now a dead connection so i cannot back up so just perform your backup on your own just view my pre previous record so for this i will just end up and thank you for staying watching video and